More now from Monty Francis. You could hear the sounds of war on Friday, just a few miles north of central Kiev, as Russian troops entered the Ukrainian capital. With the streets deserted, Ukraine's defense ministry urged people to stay indoors and to prepare Molotov cocktails to defend themselves. Some heeded the advice, taking cover in underground metro stations, while others fled. At a military airport on the outskirts of the capital, Ukrainian forces battled with Russian helicopters, shooting flares to send heat-guided missiles off course. The Kremlin said on Friday it was willing to negotiate, but only if Ukraine laid down its arms. We are ready for negotiations. At any moment, as soon as the armed forces of Ukraine respond to the call of our president, they must stop resisting and lay down their arms. Moscow claims it's just targeting military installations, but images show otherwise. Airstrikes hit a residential building just outside of the capital. Eight people were hurt, but there were no reports of casualties. Russian forces are closing in from all sides, from the east into the regions of Kharkiv and Dnipro, and from the south, landing by sea at the cities of Odessa and Maripol. Ukraine said Russian forces had also seized the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the northern border. For its part, the Russian Defense Ministry claims it has disabled 13 Ukrainian command posts and communication centers and destroyed 14 anti-aircraft missile systems, shot down five aircraft, five drones and one helicopter. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said he and his family have been personally targeted and he denounced Russia in a televised address. They say that civilian objects are not a target for them, but this is another lie. They do not distinguish between areas in which they operate. On Snake Island, on the edge of Ukraine's territorial waters, Russian forces moved in and issued a chilling warning that elicited a bold reply. Moments later, the ship fired, killing 13 Ukrainian troops. As Ukrainian forces fight back, President Zelensky has declared martial law, barring most men ages 18 to 60 from leaving the country.